everyone, it's Queen, and welcome to Purple City Prepping. Over here, we like to do store walkthroughs, prepping hauls, and container gardening. So if that is your thing, then hit that subscribe button, and please don't forget the like button. Also, leave me some comments. I love to read them and stay in touch with my viewers. Now, let's get to the video. Hey you guys, Queen here. I was just getting a start on my spring garden. I have started, I have dropped some seeds and let's see what I have started. I have some head crisp lettuce. I have some mustard greens, some romaine lettuce. Some southern, uh, southern giant collard greens, some Swiss chard, some bok choy, two things of baby lima beans, a New Zealand spinach, and some golden sweet corn. And I have to show you, I had um, went to the grocery store and picked up a lot of different fruits. So I can regrow them. Um, I think I picked up some, oh, some golden delicious apples, some honey crisp apples, and some pink ladies. I got some um, blood oranges, a mango, some pineapples, lemons, and some sugar cane. I'm also growing sugar cane from seed they have not came up yet they have not came up it's not even a peak of them yet but we shall see and over here I have a cutting from a purple cauliflower so I'm gonna get that started um, I have it sitting in a shallow plate of water so it can um, grow a little a couple of different roots they don't group they don't root really big, so I'm going to start them off, and then I'm going to put them in some dirt and see what we get. Okay, check. I want you guys to take a look at this, these um, fruits that I picked up from the farmer's market, okay? From the farmer's market, this right here is a pink lady apple. Look how small this pink lady is okay these apples used to be in your hand like this and this is and they're still expensive pink ladies the golden delicious um what was the other one um the golden delicious oh the apple crisp they're all this small let me check out where's one of the golden look at there check that I was so shocked. The blood orange. That's the blood orange. That's that's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. And then a pear. This pear right here. And I B O S C B O S C. This pear right here is delicious it is so sweet it almost reminds me of the pears you get out of the can <laughs> I know that's crazy but this taste it was so sweet straight off straight out the just the regular fruit and it was really delicious I had one of these yesterday so I am going to I took the seeds out of the one I had yesterday I am going to get me some I'm going to replant them and I'm going to try to get me a pear tree. I'm going to get me a pear tree, um, golden delicious, a pink lady, and a apple crisp. 
I want a blood orange tree, a regular orange tree, and I'm going to do those all in my backyard. And I also picked up a, a yellow onion and a red onion. I'm going to use those with dinner today. And I am going to also regrow those. I picked up two pineapples. I was reading online that you can regrow pineapples and produce some new pineapples. I'm talking about free, you guys. Yeah, you purchased this. This is probably what you were going to purchase from the store anyway. But you can also take the seeds out and regrow them and have them in your own home right and you can grow all these in containers I'm gonna get me some five or six gallon containers and especially for my trees because they will hold up better in the containers I believe than um, my grow bags that I um, that I used last summer uh, last fall so this is my start getting to it I have collected a lot of seeds especially from the blood oranges and from oh I had a pomegranate pomegranates have a ton hundreds hundreds of seeds in them okay so you don't I mean that gives you plenty of seeds pomegranates so I plan on doing a pomegranate uh, I can't even speak now pomegranate tree and um, I enjoyed my pomegranate and kept me a good amount of um, a good amount of pomegranate seeds. I have an uh, Asian pear, so I got two types of pears. Look how they got it all beat up and bruised, though. But um, I got a pear, this pear, and the brown one. Something that also gives you a ton of seeds are kiwis. Kiwis has a butt ton of seeds in it. So we're going to try to regrow those. And stay tuned for my next video regarding that. In my kitchen windowsill, I have the four collard green cuttings, fresh collard green cuttings. Um, and so I'm going to I let them soak for a couple of days. And then I planted them into some dirt on my windowsill and they are starting to grow a little bit because I cut them even and you can start to see them grow up from the center grow up from the centers and in a couple of weeks they're going to be big leaves okay they're going to start growing really well for me hopefully okay um, but we're going to keep an eye on those as well. But this is collard greens. All right now, thank you for watching and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Hopefully you found this helpful or reminded you of something that you may need to add to your preps. Thanks again. Bye.